Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Mehdi and today I'm gonna talk about a brand new tool in Substance Painter. This tool is a great game changer tool and you can easily adopt your texturing process with this tool and it can help you to increase your speed, quality and accuracy in your workflow. So let's play with this tool and see what happened if I know the parameters of this tool and what can I do with that. So uh, I'm going to create a paint layer for using the path you need to have in a paint mode. So I'm going to call it this layer test and for using this new tool you need to change paint mode to path mode. So after changing you can see there is a path layer here and the options over there they are going to be changed. So, for starting, I'm going to create a simple curve on this curve surface. So, what's happening right now? So, you can toggle off and on the visibility of the curves with this option here. And you can access to the different path under one layer and you can change the display help or display guidance over here. For example, I'm, I can uh, turn off path direction or just turn on or changing the color of that. Or for example, uh, turning on the normals so I can see what happened. And that's it. So you can change the size. You can change the flow or maybe a stroke opacity and absolutely you can decrease or increasing the spacing uh, for example for now I'm going to increase spacing to 150 okay so uh, you can reverse the direction of the path with this option and you can change the type of the vertices to linear or just busier. Okay, you can delete with selection and press delete on your keyboard or just you can delete with this option. And you can close your loop and your curve with this option. Open and close the path. So you can do these things with these options. And you can come over here in the path layer and you can manage your path here very easy. For example, you can remove, duplicate, copy, paste, or cut. And for example, uh, cut this path from this layer and go another layer and paste over there. So uh, for creating new path, let's remove this path and turn on the symmetry and see what happened if I use the path with the symmetry. So I can create a path easily without any hesitation in symmetry and for example, changing the size. Okay, I can select any vertices and use pressure to do such a things. Okay. Yeah, and after that you can come here and change everything, everything that you want. So you can even change the alpha. So let's go and, for example, change it to Celtis Cross. And as you can see, you can even Change it like that, and you have access to modify your alpha, and even you have access to change your material. So, this is the main concept of the path, so you can use it in this way, or you can choose between six materials that came with this tool in Substance Painter. You can you can see the icon and the names of these materials so 
you can choose between them i'm going to uh, put the names in the description so you can just copy and paste in your library and search for this material to test it so let's go and create some stitches for this object with the path okay i'm going to create a paint layer call it stitches and came here in the brush menu i'm going to search for pop stitching and uh, for choosing in these materials i prefer to use the brush preset not the material itself so i'm going to double click on it and it's going to be load on my brush and i have access to change the material parameters here and let's create my curve and for first of all i'm going to turn off the symmetry And now it's done. You can create these curves and project your detail on any surface. And no matter to the form, uh, and it's not related to the complexity. So it's, it's amazing. Because after that, you can select your path and come over and, for example, change the stitches type or maybe plastic or just zigzag so you you can you are able to control everything with this tool and it's amazing and it can push your work further and you can increase your accuracy on your texturing process and that's amazing so uh, you can create separate layers with separate path and material and even you can came here and create mask to avoid details on the surface that you don't want so that's it this is how you can use and work with the path tool in substance painter if you have any question you can ask in the comment section don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for supporting us and watching us. Goodbye.